everyone, if you are an e-commerce store owner on WordPress and want to disable the store temporarily by hiding prices of the products, then switching to catalog mode can be very helpful. Now, this mode is also useful while updating the stocks or when your website is going through some maintenance issues. Thus, in today's video, let's take a look at how to enable catalog mode on your WooCommerce store. I'm Aparna Sundar from LearnWoo and let's get started. To enable WooCommerce catalog mode easily on your store, you can simply use a WooCommerce plugin. Now for this video, we will be using LX WooCommerce catalog mode plugin. The link to download the plugin is given in the description. Now we shall be using this particular plugin because it is easy to use and the best part is that this plugin is completely free. With this plugin, you can remove add to cart button, customize the add to cart button, hide product prices from the store and hide the cart and checkout pages as well. Thus to enable catalog mode on your WooCommerce store, let's quickly first install and configure the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard plugins, add new and here on the search bar, search catalog mode for WooCommerce. Now this is the particular plugin that we will be using. Once the plugin appears, click install and once installed, click activate. Alternatively, you can also download the plugin from their website. The link to their website is mentioned in the description. Once the plugin is installed and activated, access the plugin settings by going to WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce and Catalog mode. Here you will see different capabilities of the plugin. Let's take a look at them one by one. Now, first option is to remove the add to cart button. If you tick the box next to this option and enable it, you will see a few more additional options. From here, you can specify whether you want to remove it from the shop page or from individual product pages. Tick the box from where you want to remove it or select both to remove the cart button from both shop page and product page. Next from here, you can add and place holder text to be displayed at the space where the button was located. Like here, I have given the text coming soon. However, you can leave it empty if you don't want any content to be displayed. Once done, save changes. Now if we go to frontend, the add to cart button will be removed from your shop and product pages as we had selected both. And here you can see that the specified placeholder text will be displayed in its place. Next, in certain scenarios, you may not want to remove the add to cart button, but instead want to change its function and text. Now this customize the button option will help you with that. Thus first untick remove the add to cart option. Now tick this checkbox to enable the customize add to cart. Once it's enabled, from here you can add custom text for the product page here and add custom button text shop page here. Next in the button text URL, you can also change the functionality of the add to cart button by redirecting customers to a page of your choice. For that, just enter the URL of the page here. For example, if a customer wants to request a code for bulk purchase, then you can add the text request a code as the placeholder text and give the URL of a form here where they can enter their quantity requirements. Once done, click save changes. Now if we go to the front end, here you can see that the text on the button will change as per what we had specified and the customers clicking the button will be redirected to the page where they can submit the details of a code. With the next option, you can hide the price as well as remove the add to cart button of the product. For that, first untick the first two options to see how exactly this particular option would work. On the plugin settings page, you can simply tick this option to hide the price and then enter the text to be displayed. Once done, save changes. Now if we go to the front end, you can see that this will hide the price and remove the add to cart button and will display the custom text that we entered. Next, you can also make cart and checkout pages inaccessible to the customers. For that, from the plugin settings section, simply select the option hide cart and checkout page and once done, click save changes. Now, if we go to the front end, we can see that if we click on the cart and the checkout links on the navigation menu, they will be redirected to the home page. 
Next, you can also exclude the site administrator from the catalog mode settings and thus apply catalog mode only to the other users. Now for that, from the plugin setting page, check the option exclude administrator to exclude all the users that have administrator user role from the catalog mode settings. Once done, save changes. Now if we go to the front end as an administrator, we can see our store without the catalog mode. However, if we visit the site with any other user role, we can see that the site is in catalog mode. In case you want to get more details about WooCommerce user roles, you can check one of our articles how to understand WooCommerce user roles. The link to the article is mentioned in the description. And that was all. So this is how you can enable catalog mode on your WooCommerce store with the help of this easy to use plugin. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.